Hello and welcome on Lefebvre Good Memories channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make this awesome tree super quick and for cheap costs. First, you will need clump foliage from Woodland Scenics, medium color, primer as a background color for the trunk, glue spray, especially Aline's Techy Spray, and finally some fine turf from Woodland Scenics color green grass. The secret of the result of these trees is the trunk. It is made from the flower of Itanji paniculata. It is a super beautiful plant to grow in your backyard and they produce a bunch of them at the end of summer. But we are not here to talk about my garden. Eh? After harvesting them, you dry them on the rope in your garage or whatever you want. You remove the dried flowers and you have this. Take the time to gently remove anything that doesn't look like a branch. There will be some crooked dried flowers. You can put them back straight by bowling and drying them with weight that are designed for this purpose. A wonderful tutorial on building these and specially designed support for this can be found on the Luke Toman website, an amazing multitask modeler. After choosing the height of the tree relative to your scale, you select the branches that you want to keep to give the most natural appearance possible. Take the time to clean the place where you cut the branches with your hobby knife. Insert a pin in the base of the tree to facilitate handling during the next steps and also for installing them in your scenery later. It helps to put them straight on the landscape. After that, we put the primer to put the base layer on the trunk. We are now going to put a little contrast on the trunk. I use Valero Herd Brown color to do this. With an old technique that most of you know, you use a whole brushes to make this job. Apply a little paint and remove the excess on the towel paper. You can use a paper sheet for better result, but here it's what I got close to me without moving around too much. Without putting too much pressure, you apply the paint without completely hiding the trunk to let glimpse the darker brown of the first layer. Now, we put the glue spray but without putting too much. I had tried so many kind of this glue. With Aline's Techy Spray I got the best results. The material stick properly and doesn't fall when it's dry later on the scenery. Be careful to only put it at the end of the branches. Otherwise, the material will stick to inappropriate places. I use for the texture clump foliage because I can buy it in better quantity for the price I pay. In the same time, I can make with it more fine material for the finishing touch. It's time to put the foliage in place. I start with the big pieces of clump foliage because they will not fall. If otherwise, we use the smallest material and we paste it in several successive layers, the tree will eventually lose material on the scenery. We will only use thinner material for finishing. During the process, I had an extra layer of glue spray in some places to add clump foliage. Go gradually because it's easy to put too much and it's getting white. If you are satisfied with this result, you can leave it in this way. 
or to add a new foliage texture and an interesting color variance, you add in some specific places clump foliage light green. Now the result is still nice, but to add some light to the foliage, we will put a thin layer of fine turf, and at the same time it will mix the two color of clump foliage. So here is the final result of this beautiful tree. You can have also this version with the dead head to depend on the context. I hope you enjoy my video. Do not hesitate to subscribe and share my channel to keep you informed of the new videos that will follow. Bye bye!